Hey, I'm Spencer Sutherland, and you're watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? Gabby Conti here with Spencer Sutherland. Spencer, you are doing everything right now. Music, movies, TV shows. What are you not doing? Uh, yeah, that's all alive. I'm not doing anything, <laughs> actually. But no, I'm kidding. I have to have you play a game. First time you said, I love you. For sure, my uh, eighth grade girlfriend. And did you mean it in the eighth grade? Did you like know what that meant? I just, no. Right? Probably not. It's funny because we never even kissed. But you said you loved me. We like, I would look forward to this every day, like when the buses came, like we were about to go home. Uh, it was, we would hug okay. at the end of the day. Um, how about the first heartbreak? Was it the eighth grade hug girlfriend? Yeah. Yep. Yeah? Same girl. Did she dump you? She did. We uh we just had different goals in life, you know. Yeah, you were just going different places. Yeah. You were going to the ninth grade, and so was she, but to a different school. I don't know. No, she went to the same school, and she dated one of my friends. <laughs> so. So your big break into all of this was that uh, the X Factor in the UK, or was there something else before that? No, that was it, really. Before that, I think I was playing at a bunch of restaurants and stuff, and then I got an opportunity to go. Um, I guess they say across the pond to the UK. First time I had ever been out of the country. Wow. And I was there for like four months. Oh my god, because you made it past the audition. Yeah, yeah, I went to like <laughs> live shows and said, so, yeah, thank goodness. Um, and so Simon Cowell, like, did he like say, he said you were good? Yeah, it was, Simon was like really great, especially behind the scenes. I don't know if he would want me to say this, but he's a very sweet guy. What? He's a very sweet no. guy. Yeah. No, he's not. He's really nice. That's and he's really good at acting mean. <laughs> Well, okay, how about, I'm distracted by your rings. What is going on with these rings? What, 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 do they mean anything? Are you like Thanos? Like, what's up? Uh, I am. <laughs> uh, so I, I like to, I just love rings so mm -hmm. much. Elvis is one of my favorite, like, of all time. He's like my favorite singer. And he always wore, had these like big, like Vegas gaudy rings on. So I started collecting them from wherever I went. I collect a lot. I collect mugs. I collect shot glasses. Do you collect I, women? Yeah. What? Do you, do you collect women? Uh, I, I, no. <laughs> <laughs> How do I answer? I guess saying, are you a ladies man? Are you spoken for? Uh, that's actually a really good way to ask that. Yeah. Um, I am well, you, you were the one who said you collect things. I wasn't the one who said that. And then that's well, all happened. Well, <laughs> little. Um, I am, I'm spoken for. Good. Uh, yeah, I, I'm my girlfriend and I are in a show together, actually. Oh, what, yeah. is, what show is this? It's called I Know What You Did Last Summer. See, he acts, he sings, he has a girlfriend, and you have a movie coming out with Victoria Justice. Yes. Called, wait, After, oh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher it. Afterlife of the party. the party. Like Life the Party and Afterlife and also After Party are all three phrases that are all in that one great title. I think it's a, sort of a play on the words too. So. Okay, and so what happens? Who do you play in that? What's what's the deal? So Victoria's character dies on her 25th birthday. Oh, how morbid. It's the opening of the movie. Yeah. And she kind of wakes up and she's like, oh my God, I'm in heaven. I'm in, like, uh, and her, her guardian angel says, hey, you, you got some stuff to do before you can go to the beyond. Mm -hmm and a lot of stuff ensues and it's is, a lot of fun. Is the favorite singer that you play based off any real life singers? Originally it was gonna be, it was like sort of like directed towards like a Jason Mraz type thing. Oh, do you have a fedora? Well, they wanted me to wear one. I was like, hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna do that. Well, Spencer, thank you so much. This was so much fun. Thank you. Mm -hmm.